Hello spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alexey Sukhov and today I will show you how to do shadow. This is the first headache which you will have in your pen spinning journey. This first pretty serious trick which took pretty much time over the, a month for me to get. I hope I will make learning it for you much easier than it was for me. And today I will show you some tips about this trick. So it is one of those tricks which are called top spins. Kind of tricks when you lose control of your pen mode, when it's not in your slot, when it spins on your fingers. So this is the main difficultness of uh, shadow. Shadow variety is very, very big. You can do it in different slots, it can be 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are a lot of the variations of this trick. I will recommend you to use heavy mod to learn it. It would be beneficial if it will be really long pen mod, over 21.5 at least. Better if it is, it will be 22.5 about that. I will use Buster CYL to show it to you. So I will show you how to do shadow still from slot 1-2 to 1-2. Using the same conception you can learn also it in any of the slots, just this one I think is easier to get the concept. So to learn shadow take your pen mod closer to one of its tips with its bigger part looking away from you and keep your hand palm down. So the pen is in this position, it is almost parallel to the floor between those two fingers. Don't tense fingers, keep them relaxed. So the pen when you hold it like this, it tips will be stopped by your palm, you need to feel it. Like so holding the pen in this position, you swing your hand to the right. As you swing it, your index goes up a little bit and pen goes in this direction. This is why you need a good momentum pen mod. Then when you swing it to the right, pen is at this position approximately, you need to do a pretty sharp and fast movement to the left, to swing your hand to the left. You need to raise your middle finger and let pen go from the slot 1-2. First of all, you need to not to be afraid to drop the pen, because it was the main difficultness for me, I, uh, I couldn't, couldn't release the pen go from slot 1-2, just couldn't do it. This way, by swaying the pen mod, you make it spin. First you need to release it from the slot and when you do, when you are comfortable with dropping it, you need to learn how to raise your index finger to let pen stay on it. So you swing your hand to the right, pen goes to the right, index raises, then you sway pretty sharp at left, pen goes left, middle finger raises and you let pen go from your slot. Then you need to raise your index finger again and connect these fingers so it would stay on them, on top of them. need to learn how to let pen make one rotation on your index finger or on both of your fingers. Just by keeping them together it will make the surface bigger, chance to drop a pen will reduce a bit. So we sway hand right, then to left, release it from the slot, a little bit raise index finger to make pen move on it and then you need to make middle finger go down and raise index finger a little bit more so pen would go under it then you raise middle finger to press and squeeze the pen in one two again
Now I, I will show you how I do shadow continuous so you will see the motion of the fingers because this is the most important part. First you, you need to raise index, let middle finger go down, then upper side. As you can see to do shadow I don't swing my hand because the whole motion, the whole movement I do only with my finger. But this swinging you need to do to see how the fingers should move. I hope this video will help you to get the shadow much faster than it was for me, but probably it wouldn't be so easy if you will have a lot of problems with it. Don't hesitate to go to our subreddit rpenspin to ask for help. Don't forget to attach a video of you doing this trick, so we could see what is wrong with your execution, if there is anything wrong, and give you some advices. Because if you just post a text describing your problem, it's not helpful for us to indicate the problem. When you are okay with doing shadow, don't forget to check out the playlist with the different linkages and mini combos, because at this point, after you make shadow, don't stuck on this trick. Move forward, because at this point it is good for you to start learning new linkages and mini combos for a while. After that you can go on and continue with other tricks. I wish you good luck with all that. May this tell be with you. Bye.